In this video, we're going to be doing a tessellation by altering the sides by translation of a rectangle. And we're going to be using Google SketchUp to do it. So we need to set up our canvas. We need to, to get rid of the axis and uh, we need a parallel projection and a top view. Get rid of the person icon there. Now we're looking down, so we're ready to go. And we have our large tool set. So I want to start off with a, a rectangle from the rectangle tool. And then I'm going to use the arc tool and I'm just going to play around here with the design going from the vertex to the midpoint and I'm going to make a semicircle. And I think I'll go with another semicircle going the other way. It just snaps to half circle and maybe I'll make a, a semicircle on this left side as well. well let's let's see if that works so I want I want to erase the re the original side now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these this new side using the option key or for Mac or control for PC and I'm going to move copy it. Uh oh, this is not going to work. You can see how these two sides are going to overlap, so I need to to back up here and I need to change that left side. So I think I'll just repeat the same um, pattern like I'm using above. So I'll do a half circle and then half circle on this side, and this will work. So I'll erase the original side there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the individual arcs and make up, make up that side and move copy. And I'm going to, to copy it. So I need to make sure I use Option or Control key. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Erase the original side and select the curves here. And then hit, use the copy tool and hit control or um, option. And then snap it to the corresponding point on the right side and erase the rest of the lines. So I've lost the shape of my figure. So I'm going to go back here and just fill it one of the edges back in. And usually we'll, we'll fill in the shape. That's not unusual. So now I'm going to select the entire shape and make a copy of this. The translation of this should fit perfectly. The one side of the tessellation is the beginning of the other side. And recenter my object. Select these four figures and copy the, the whole set here. Now I think I'll color in the eight figures I have here and, and make an interesting progression here. Now I'm going to copy and paste what I have here and, and just repeat this pattern using the move copy tool. I'll grab a, a vertex and make sure I snap it. Keep repeating this. You can select the entire thing using Option A or Control A. And now, I'm going to center this. Zoom in a little bit so I don't have any dead space on the edges. And now I'm going to export this as a 2D graphic from the file menu. And call it what you like. You can make a, a portable network graphic a PNG file or a JPEG file and select your options for that and then hit export and there it is. Now it's ready to be uploaded to Google Docs. Okay so this next tessellation is going to be more of an Escher style tessellation so it'll be representational art 
of some sort. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but uh, I'll make it look like something. But I need to set up my canvas again, just like I did the, the first time. Uh, the top view, a parallel projection. I need to get rid of the axis and the little figure. And uh, we're going to start again with the rectangle. And this time I'm going to add something again on the top. This time I'm going to use the line tool, which looks like a little pencil. And I'm, I'm just kind of making up stuff here. Just a weird shape. I can go above or below the line. And it just needs to come back to the, the vertex uh, on the, the upper left and the upper right. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. Just make this weird zigzag shape here. I can I can do a, a curve as well if I want using the arc tool. You can experiment with this. You get all kinds of um, different possibilities. And I'm going to erase the original line and then select each little piece and then use the move copy tool by holding option or control and copy it to corresponding side on the on the bottom of the rectangle. Now I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to select the new side on the left that I had just created, including the arc. Use the move copy tool. Hold option for Mac or control for PC. You see the little plus next to the icon there and snap it on the right side. Get rid of the original line segment of the rectangle. It didn't fill in again, so I'm just going to use my line tool and just connect in one part and it should fill in. Now I'm, I'm going to paint the inside. So this kind of looks like a bat or I don't know. It's, it's kind of up to your imagination here what, what you want it to look like. But um, you can just make some interesting drawings here. I'm going to make an eye. And um, you can use the freehand tool, or you can use any of the shape tools. Do anything you like as long as it stays inside this shape. You can't go outside the shape or else it won't tessellate. So once you get your final design, you can color it. And now you can copy and paste and the one side of your tessellation should fit perfectly into the opposite side of your tessellation. That's the whole point of doing the alteration by translation. And we can copy the whole thing and you can decide whether or not you want it to, to, to go in rows like I'm doing here or you could do it diagonally like I did with the one before. And you can work on your color scheme. Mine might not be the best here. Uh, I'm sure you can find some more interesting uh, things to make besides the strange looking bat. But play around with it and experiment and uh, you can come up with some really creative things. So here I just exported the image and now I'm ready to email it or upload it to Google Docs or whatever I want to do with it. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial.